welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a very fun day in my life work vlog as a security analyst working in Seattle remotely. Very long title. So as you guys know, I am currently on a four month road trip across the US and currently we are in Seattle. This is my first time here and so far I actually really like the city. I've heard a lot of things about how Seattle is very rainy and personally I've seen a lot of sunlight. In fact, this week and all of next week is basically all sunlight. So surprisingly, I think I like it better than some California cities that we've been to already. Also going to be a very busy week. Um, I feel like that is the theme of my videos, especially with balancing full-time work and traveling, which, you know, since you're in a new city, you also want to experience different things and try different restaurants or visit different neighborhoods. And then also, of course, my YouTube channel, which I still am posting two times a week for on this channel. Yeah, it's definitely been pretty hectic, but I don't want to be like a pusher for like bad work-life balance or, or stressful working situations, but I do think that long-term just isn't sustainable, but since it is like, you know, a trip with a end date, personally, I am just thinking about that fact specifically. But yeah, it's been a while since I've actually done a work vlog, I think, um, just like going through how work has been, what's been happening. So I want to give you guys a little bit of an update. So personally, I think a lot of the busyness is centered around the beginning and ends of quarters but for my company we're relatively small and the quarters are usually very busy right now we're about a month into the quarter so right around the middle so i think that's helped a little bit in terms of you know lowering some pressure so that i can work on my projects so if you guys don't know i have project-based work and i also have like ticketing based work so ticketing is very ad hoc you don't know when a ticket is going to come in um it could be for some kind of security related incident it could be for a vulnerability it could be for some kind of user request. There are typically lots of different types of tickets that come in and anything related to cybersecurity from any of our stakeholders, whether they're internal or external. So right now I'm focusing a lot of my time on my project-based work, which is typically longer term and has a later deadline. Typically tickets probably need to be completed within a week or so would be like a fair date to complete most tickets. For my project-based work, that is like quarters long, months long. It's definitely very interesting to be able to like lead a project because personally I've never you know done this in my previous role the project management side of things because you also are managing the project scope and like what the timelines look like and who is working on what even coming up with what needs to be done as part of that timeline so personally it's kind of interesting it's definitely out of my comfort zone I mean I do think that it's going pretty well we had a meeting yesterday and it went really well I had a lot of good news to share with the team with the progress that we're making so yeah that is kind of where I am definitely trying to prioritize my mental health a little bit on top of this because I'm going through it a little bit um some days are better than others so I think today isn't gonna be too bad because I'm vlogging so vlogging is always a fun thing to do <laughs> go get some brekkie breakfast downstairs there is a little cafe that's attached not a cafe um i guess like a little restaurant attached to the hotel i am very san francisco today we got this shirt from sf so it's a uh, it's very fitting for today hi bella be back soon oh my gosh she's so cute i'm sure it's not just me but everyone just thinks their own pet is like the cutest thing ever my OTD. I feel like a very Seattle person because everyone seems very fit here. They're always in like gym clothes. You guys see how dim this hallway is? It keeps making me feel like it's nighttime. We did go up a lot. I don't know. Oh, I love this hotel lobby. It's so pretty. feel kind of meh right now i feel like normally at home we don't eat breakfast like this heavy i'll have like egg whites you guys know i eat like one or two eggs oh yeah look at this bathroom door it's so cool so the mirror that you saw earlier was our bathroom door and this is the bathroom it's very dark 
I love how minimal it is. And these like faucets, like wow, so pretty. So now I'm gonna get ready for my day. I have my first meeting um, in about an hour or so. And then after that, I have another meeting at like 3, 3.30ish. Again, I'm, my day isn't really full of meetings to be honest, like it used to be. Um, if you guys know of my old job, I used to have meetings four to five hours a day, which is just unheard of for someone who's just at the analyst level, you know, or at least that's just my personal opinion. So let me take a look at what we have on the calendar. Personally, I only see like about two or three meetings on my calendar per day. And I would say Tuesdays, the middle of the week, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays are my busiest days. Mondays, I spend a lot of time catching up for the week. And then Fridays, I'm like preparing for the end of the week or the next week. That is like kind of my overall workflow schedule. Usually the middle of the week is usually the busiest. Currently reading this article about um, AI <laughs> and machine learning like taking over the world basically. It's a time article about Microsoft CEO's response to all the criticism on how fast AI is growing. I'd recommend reading it. It's very interesting. I think just seeing how polarized people are about the benefits of AI versus the consequences and who it impacts at the end of the day the most in terms of like losing jobs or replacing large skill sets of jobs, social bias, things like that. So definitely a very interesting read. Personally, I feel like I would agree that there are definitely going to be huge benefits to AI, but I also feel like we're not deep enough to know how bad the consequences could be. It's just very interesting that, for example, quoting the article, a decision theorist leading the nonprofit Machine Intelligence Research Institute, like AI labs, to shut down their research entirely. I definitely think that it should be supervised, you know, and should have policies and processes that they're following. And when things go wrong, they're like questioning it and like seeing where to do better and how to fix it and things like that. But I also don't think that stopping growth, I guess like innovation in tech, is really gonna solve any issues because eventually this will be a thing, right? I am really curious to think to hear what you guys think about this too, especially because in cybersecurity it poses like a different set of questions along with privacy specifically and how data is used. You know how in like those movies and stuff where people have those like little AI buddies or bots that like follow them around and give them advice and stuff like that? I think it would be really cool if that is where society goes towards. Obviously not everything can be like in the movies or in TV shows. This is essentially what this article is saying, um, or at least what the CEO of Microsoft is saying. So yeah, definitely give this article a read. Let me know what you guys think about it. So we got some curry from, where is this from? Curry, curry. Curry, curry. Curry, curry. Um, it looks like a beef curry. Honestly, this doesn't look very Japanese. It looks very like, it's just sloppy joe. I love when they add egg and curry. I'm a big egg fan. I think if I was on a stranded island, I had to pick one food to eat for the rest of my life. Okay, now I'm stranded island. If I just had to pick one food I to eat for the rest of my life, it would probably be eggs. Cause you can do so much with them. Just saying, I wish this table extended, and then I see this drawer, and now you guys fit here. Wait, this is so nice actually because this desk is pretty small. We're also gonna get ready to go outside. I don't think I told you guys what we're doing after work, but we're going to see the Seattle Tower. What is it called? Space the Space Needle. Um, although when we drove by, like into Seattle, the Space Needle isn't even that tall. In fact, it's one of the shorter buildings on the skyline, but I mean, it's still a really impressive building, but. I feel like I'm used to like places where it's like really tall and it's like supposed to be like one of the tallest buildings, but it is still really cool. So we're gonna go there and then we're gonna get something for dinner. Um, we didn't really eat that much of a lunch besides the curry because we already ate very heavy breakfast. And I feel like when I eat a heavy breakfast, it really messes up. Like I don't get hungry for lunch. So we're gonna get dinner um, right after work and that is going to be our day. Very exciting. Maybe I should do like a work week vlog instead let me know what you guys would prefer because i feel like in work day vlogs i can go a little bit more deeper into some of the stuff that i'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis of course with confidentiality things still not something i can talk about but at least i can like talk a little bit more in detail about things but i feel like for week for work week vlogs 
I'm only filming like a few minutes per day you know, if it's like a full week of work and it's like a 15 minute video or so. That's the reason why I haven't really done that many work vlogs, work week vlogs on this channel. But I do have a lot of our road trip travel vlogs on my second channel. So I can link that down in the description if you guys want to check that out. Well, it's technically always linked in the description. It's just, yeah. But overall, I did complete two of the tickets I had assigned. One of them was a ticket from a external customer. And then the other one was a really brief kind of like security notification, I guess you would say. Um, but those typically are a lot faster to close out than, than customer requests or external internal stakeholder requests. I also did reach out to a few teams that I had to follow up on for some work that I'm doing for my project. But yeah, this next meeting is going to be a team meeting. In my last company, my team also had something like a weekly catch up that was once or twice a week, I believe. Um, and my current team also does something similar, but it's on different days of the week. Basically, just go over and over any roadblocks. It's definitely not as in-depth as a daily stand-up for, you know, development teams, but it's still, like, a nice way to catch up with coworkers and have some human-to-human -human interaction outside of, since we were all working remotely. Not ready, and we're ready to go. Alrighty. Always reapply sunscreen before you go outside. I saw a video today about how Gen Z uh, okay, well, this millennial woman made a video. Actually, I watch her a lot, but um, she made a video about how Gen Z is afraid of wrinkles and aging. And I'm just like, that's every generation. <laughs> I'm sure millennials went through a similar phase. Every generation in this age that's like getting to their mid 20s is going to have some kind of phase where they're like afraid of aging because it's happening, you know? I, I don't think it's fair to be like, Gen Z is afraid of wrinkles. ROTD. I look like I'm ready to go on a picnic, and he looks like he's ready to go into work. Tech yeah. bro. <laughs> I said tech bro. Uh, awareness. So. Alright, we're going to Din Tai Fun. Or Ding Tai Fun. For some soup dumplings. And I really like their chicken chili wontons. They're really good. A lot of the shops here are very empty. Like, look at this mall. It's 2 p.m. It's so empty. Yeah, 2 p.m. local time, but still. You wouldn't expect it to be this empty. Like, in LA, 2 p.m. was like, everyone was at the mall. It was crazy. LA people love the mall. It's not a lot of Chinese people on that. They're going to cafe. <laughs> We just finished dinner. It was actually really good. Wait, I didn't know Nordstrom had home stuff. Look at this cup. Pretty. Like they actually have like home decor. Wow. I wonder if this side. Heard about these. Like how cool. I was gonna do some shopping, but it's just hard because I don't know where to put stuff. And also, I feel like I'm really picky about. Low shopping? Oh, a bit too long. I don't know. I really like that skirt. Do the shape of it. Uh... So that's where we're gonna take the train to the uh, Seattle Tower. Made it to the Space Needle. It looks really cool though. It looks like a flying saucer is. It's a bird one that's been. Oh, it spins? Yeah. Guys, this is a Lego piece. How crazy is that? What? Speed away we go. Some day like to see, sunshine, blue sky. Oh, sorry. Very cool. You didn't bring telescope, right? You know, I did not. Oh my god. Like, if you look down, you can actually get motion sick. Or, like, fear of heights. Because. This is a re revolving floor. See the. Wow! You see him moving? 
We did one of these glass bridges mm. when we visited San Jajie like years ago now, but. This is the baby one. All right, next stop is the glass museum. Oh, I've definitely seen a piece like that in a museum in Philly, like when I was really little. EST, which actually means it's only seven o'clock outside, but since we're living in EST time, which means I also start work at 6 a.m. local time, um, we, yeah, live in EST. So I'm actually going to get ready for bed. We usually sleep around 10, 11 ish, and today was definitely a day. I got really, I don't know, tired, anxious, did some YouTube work because that is still something that I spend time on after work hours. This kind of gave you an idea of like what my day looks like from a holistic point of view, not just nine to five work, but also YouTube work, which I still consider work, but it is definitely a very different flavor of work, I would say. Definitely uses a different part of your brain, which personally I think is actually really refreshing. But again, when there's like a lot on my plate, I do get pretty stressed out. I do think it's definitely a lot better than um, maybe a month ago when things were really really busy. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you liked this video Please give it a thumbs up subscribe and turn on post notifications I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye